and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at April 4th, 2024's Faded Crop Key Pairs by Clover. Uh, Clover Moon is one of our setters here at Gas HQ, and uh, so am I, Bill Murphy. Uh, I will be solving the puzzle for you tonight. Hello! Um, there's also Philip Newman around. Say hi to him. Um, we, we, we like to take care of our Philip. Um, but yeah, uh, today we're looking at faded crop key pairs. Um, below this video where you're currently watching me, you'll find a link. Uh, that link will link you to this website where you can do this puzzle. Uh, you'll also find hat times. Hat times, uh, you know, two hats is a very excellent time. One hat is a very good time. And everyone can have a dinosaur. Um, no matter how fast you complete this puzzle. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. This is Faded Crocky Pears by Clover. Now, uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits uh, one to nine, one to each. Now, uh, digits separated by a gray dot uh, either consecutive so it could be six and seven or it could be in a one to two ratio so three to six is well double three is six um you don't know which one's which cool um not all possible dots are ne necessarily given so um i did a faded crop key for my patreon for this month um I said faded crop key was too hard, so Clover came back and did a faded crop key pass. Um, that, that shows me. Um, all right, with that, let's get into it. Now, uh, yeah, please by all means give the puzzle a go, though. It's, it's a good puzzle. I've done it before. My only advice is slow down so that way you don't uh, kind of screw it up. So, um, as I said earlier, um, Oh, pardon me, I'm coming down with a sore throat, by the way. So, um, six is consecutive to five and seven, and it's also half, uh, double three. So, because we already have a five here, this can only be three or seven. Now, we have a three over here, meaning we can put seven and three here. Now, four, half of four is two, double four is eight, and it's consecutive to three and five. Now, because we have a three and a five there, it rules these two out from being three and five, which means this can be eight and this can be two, and we can place a one and a nine here. We're gonna need to do this sort of logical, methodical process, this whole puzzle, so like strap in. Um, three, uh, consecutive to two and four, and double three makes six. This cell sees two and four, meaning this must be six, and this cell sees four and six, so it must be two. Eight is, um, half of eight is four, and eight is consecutive to seven and nine. Uh, because we already have a four, we know that this must be seven and nine, meaning these two must be one and five. Two is consecutive to one and three, and double two makes four. This cell sees one and four, meaning this is three. This one sees one and three, making it four. Uh, six, uh, half three is, uh, half six is three, meaning this must be five and seven, leaving eight and nine to place. This must be eight, this must be nine, which means we come back up here, make that eight and nine, which undoes a lot for us. And this seven bounces back down here. Now, uh, this can only be three, five, or seven. Must be three, making this a four and a nine. Uh, no, four and a two. Uh, this eight, uh, well, half of eight is four, meaning that is fixed. This is three, six, and seven. Uh, eight is consecutive to seven, so we can put that one there. Uh, th four is consecutive with three, meaning we can do that. All right, let's go down here. We're going to do this one first because it's going to be a bit more helpful. Um, eight 
is consecutive of seven and nine and half eight is four. So this is four and seven. Two is consecutive with one and three. We've already placed four in this box. Uh, we know which way around it goes. That's three, that's one. This is five and six. We know which way around that goes. Pardon me one sec. <sighs> I've got ice cubes in it and I'm trying not to shake it to avoid unintentional ASMR. Uh, this is two and six. We know which way around those go. That's, oh, he says and then puts it in the wrong way. Um, three, four, and nine to go here. Neither of these can be nine. Um, meaning this is nine. Uh, nine isn't consecutive to six or two, and we can't double anything to get nine. Uh, and because we have a three, we can place four there and a three there. This is one, five, and seven. Uh, one must go next to the two, and five must go next to the seven. Uh, this is two, four, or nine. We know that's not nine because three isn't consecutive with nine, and we have a four there, so we can place a two there. Uh, we can do quite a bit more in that box then. Uh, that's six, that's eight, this is four and nine. Uh, this is five and eight, and we can't quite do the one, seven, nine. Oh no, never mind. We can nearly do it. So six has to be consecutive with seven, and then one, five, seven down here. Seven must be next to the eight. Uh, four, five, and eight to place up here. Well, we can just straight away put the five there. This is four and eight. Oh. Uh, double two makes four. And this is one and nine. So that's nine, that's one, five, and one. Five, eight, and nine to place here. Nine, eight, and five. Uh, one and nine. We're just doing regular old classic Sudoku. Now, um, this is basically wrapping up the puzzle. So I want to thank you for watching. Um, this has been Clover's Faded Crocky Pears. I've been Bill. Uh, you know, I'm still Bill. I'll probably continue to be Bill tomorrow. And once again, have a lovely day, night, morning, wherever you are in the world. And I will catch you next time. Cheers.